Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about the five stages the dumper goes through during no contact. Okay, so these are the five stages that a dumper goes through during no contact. So let's say you're the one that got dumped and you've started to apply the no contact rule. What is basically going on with your ex currently while you're doing no contact with them? Okay, so the first thing that you need to understand is, and the first stage, right, of that what the dumper goes through is a feeling of relief, okay? Now this happens sometimes just immediately after the breakup as well, because dumping someone is actually a very difficult thing to do. It's not a nice thing to do. It's actually a very uncomfortable thing to do. At least that's what most people, that's how most people feel. It's not nice to break someone's heart. It's not a nice thing to to leave someone, especially when that person really doesn't want you to leave, right? So they probably felt relief because it's a difficult thing to do. So whenever, you know, if you think about it, whenever you've done something difficult, right, after you've done it, you feel relief. You're like, oh God, I'm glad I got that out of the way. So that's what they felt when they dumped you and 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 um, and now they may still be feeling that relief. Like if, for example, you had been in contact with them and you'd been trying to resolve things and perhaps you've been begging or pleading or groveling to try and get them back. Now that you've stopped doing that, they may get another new release of relief, right? Because they no longer have to, to, to deal with you and to keep on rejecting you or, or whatever it may be. So they feel relief. Okay, so the next stage that they go through is obviously like this newfound freedom stage um, where they can, you know, do the things that they used to do when they were single. Um, you know, maybe they start dating again, which I don't condone. It's not a good idea to do that, but it maybe it's a thing that a lot of people do, unfortunately. Um, really, it's best to take some time away from dating when you've just got out of a relationship. Um, and, um, you know, they might be reconnecting with their old friends, their family members, you know, just going back to the, the person who they once was and they have this newfound freedom, right? Now, what happens after that then, that, after that stage, is there comes a time of reminiscing, right? Where they, they, they've, they've, had the, they've felt the relief, they've, they're enjoying their freedom, and now it gets to the point where they start thinking back about the relationship and they start thinking about you again and they start reminiscing basically about the old times and they, they reminisce about the relationship that they had with you. Now during this time, this is when a lot of people go back to their exes that they've dumped because during this reminiscing period, this is when they you know start to miss you, right? If they still care about you and if they still love you because right, they're thinking about the old times and they may develop those feelings of missing you and wanting the relationship back and this may be when you start getting a friend request from them or a follow from them or maybe even a message from them but basically they're starting to try and reconnect with you because they've gone through that reminiscing period and have maybe weighed out the decision of being without you and being with you and they've come to the conclusion that being with you was actually better right even if that you know is right or wrong or not because because sometimes people tend to come back for the wrong reasons, right? So so one of the reasons why a lot of people come back, you know, and dumpers come back to a relationship is because of nostalgia and looking at the relationship with rose-colored glasses and not being um, critical enough of the relationship and not thinking back as well, and failing to think back on the times when actually things weren't that great, right? Um, and what they do is they look at the, they only look at the good times, and that's one of the reasons why a lot of exes come back. Um, they're, they're not looking back at the relationship with enough scrutiny, okay? Um, so what I would say to that is, is that you must also do the same thing. You must also look back on the relationship with scrutiny as well. Because if your ex does come back, you need to make the decision as to whether or not you should actually take them back. And most of the time, it's not a good idea to take your ex back. Most of the time, Okay. The only time that I would consider it would be okay is if there was a misunderstanding in that relationship um, or if a third party got involved and that's why the breakup happened. So for example, um, a misunderstanding might be that they thought that you cheated on them when you didn't, okay? But overall, the relationship was great, it was amazing, you both loved each other so much, but th for some reason they thought that you cheated on them, it, that was wrong, that didn't happen. Um, 
and uh and and therefore you know you can get back with them you can try and reconnect with them because it all happened because of a misunderstanding now if a third party gets involved it might be that um it was something like a family member tried to split you guys up and it succeeded or or a mutual friend or someone was trying to sabotage the relationship maybe someone was spreading lies about you to them and that's why they dumped you things like that but overall the relationship was still happy it was still good um, you were in love with each other up until that point, okay? However, if it was a situation where the relationship had been kind of looking like it was going to end for a while, such as there was a lot of arguments going on, there was a lot of tears, there was a lot of upset, and that had been happening for a while until it got to the, the, the explosion point, basically, where the breakup happened, then that's not a good idea to get back with that person because obviously you were on a downhill trend with them, and things just weren't going to work out, right? You may have, even though they were the one that dumped you, you may have been still feeling like, oh yeah, I kind of wish that I wasn't in this relationship. I kind of miss my single life. I kind of, you know, because if you were thinking about those things, then, you know, <laughs> it's probably best that you to, to um, stay broken up, okay? So, that's why I have to say about that, right? And that's a, and the, the through the reminiscing period of reminiscing back at the relationship about the relationship, looking back on it with nostalgia. This is when a lot of exes come back, um, who who have dumped you, um, because they are thinking about the relationship with nostalgia and they're wanting to get back with you because they're missing you, okay? And they feel lonely, okay? Um, so the next stage that the dumper goes through during no contact is curiosity. So when they're reminiscing and they've gone through that reminiscing period, that may be when they start to look up on your social media profiles. They start to see what you've been up to, right? They're thinking about, oh, I wonder if they've moved on. I wonder if they're meeting. I wonder if they're meeting any new people, right? And this is when you might start seeing them showing up in your stories. They've watched your stories on Instagram or Facebook or something like that. Um, and they're trying to reconnect with you maybe as well, maybe they're trying to figure out what's going on, trying to see what you're doing. This might be the time as well when um, uh, mutual friends may come up to you and start kind of nitpicking about your life, like trying to get little, you know, trying to fish information about you that they're going to re relay back to your ex. Um, so they get to the point where they start to become curious after the reminiscing period, okay? So they become curious of what you're doing and how you've processed a relationship and how you are moving on with your life, okay? So that's the next stage that they tend to, to go through. So the fifth stage then, after they've done their reminiscing and they've done their curiosity, is they get to a stage where, you know, if they haven't already messaged you or reached out to you, of reconnecting with you or moving on completely. So this is when they come to the crossroads, right? And they think, okay, I'm either going to, can reconnect with this person or not, right? And it's usually like a split decision. It's usually a decision that they go through in their gut and they know, right? But this is when, you know, things tend to happen, right? Most of the time, right? If, if they're gonna come back, this is when they will. Um, but if they're not, they when, if they get to this place and they've decided that they're gonna move on, not really much will you be able to do to actually bring them back if they've made that conviction that they've moved on, okay? So obviously sometimes exes can come back during the curiosity stage and the reminiscing stage because they're thinking about you and stuff, but ultimately they still get to this point, they still get to this place, right, no matter what, of should I reconnect and try and get back with them or should I move on completely, okay? And unfortunately, you don't really know when this happens, right, you personally, because maybe you are hoping your ex is going to come back. And it may be weeks and months have gone by and your ex has already actually made the decision to move on. Okay, so this is like one of those things that's a bit up in the air and you may not actually know if they're gonna, if they've already done this or not, if they've already got to that decision. But ultimately, they do get to that place where they make a decision of, should I go back or should I not? Okay, and if a lot of time has gone by, if a long, if a long amount of time has gone by, it may be the case that they've actually done the choice of moving on. And I suggest that you also do the same. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. If you would like coaching with me and you'd like to get in touch with me personally, then please go to www.christineloverage.com and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.